I think that's probably the best play. Tank for the Skeleton Barrel. Get a ton of damage, boys. Let's go. That was critical damage. Hey, what's up, guys? It's JKK Tag, and today we're coming at you with one of the best decks for grand challenges in this current meta game. You're gonna have Royal Recruits, and you're gonna have Zap Bait with Inferno Dragon, Bats, and Skeleton Barrel. This deck is excessively strong because Royal Recruits are one of the best cards in the game, and you have a very fast cycle coming in at 3.1 Elixir, allowing you to cycle back to them time and time again. Because Royal Recruits cover all the ground defenses that you could possibly ask for, you're gonna have Inferno Dragon, Bats, and Ice Spirit to clean up all the air. This is definitely one of the best decks for grand challenges. Check it out and let me know how it ends up working for you down below in the comment section. So this guy's gonna go in for a giant at the river and a bomber and a night witch. What are those? I'm gonna end up having to go in for a log and a poison. I think I can probably go in for an ice spear here to bounce back the night witch. The inferno dragon will end up killing the giant just in the nick of time. Since he did go in for a zap, I really want to go for a skeleton barrel right in front. See if we can apply some aggression with that. And this man has a Tesla with his giant deck. What are those? I understand that Tesla's OP. I understand that you like defensive structures, but you also have a NATO? I can't deal with this, guys. My brain is about to explode. This man is running a Night Witch Giant deck with Tesla and a NATO. Can we get some What Are Those's in the chat? Because I haven't seen anything like this before. This is crazy. This guy is all about the defensive structure units, but he's got like a very offensive beatdown deck. The dichotomy in his deck is unparalleled. So do I want to end up going for a poison? Probably not. I might have to save that on defense against the Night Witch. If the Night Witch doesn't die to the Royal Recruits, that is. Kind of wants to, doesn't it? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bounce that back before it gets an attack animation. I'm going to end up going for an Ice Spirit. Try to hit the Santa Claus, all the bats, and the giant with that. Worked out pretty well. He's definitely going for a Zap. I can feel it coming in there tonight, boys. Doesn't look like he actually wanted to do it, interestingly enough. We're going to go for Royal Recruits right in front of our Inferno Dragon. I'm going to go for the Miner in the lane that he probably doesn't want to defend the most because the Inferno Dragon's in the right-hand lane, therefore he's probably going to drop all his units here. And we're going to couple that with our three Royal Recruits on the left. And it looks like we're going to do some critical damage to his tower, guys. So we are totally killing the game here. I'm going to go in for another Log right on top of the Bomber. And it looks like this man is running a very interesting deck, but I just don't understand it. Mere mortals cannot simply comprehend this insanity. I'm going to end up going for another sequence of bats. I'm going to go in for Royal Recruits. And it looks like the Inferno Dragon will end up killing the Harry Potter. If you guys did not know that, Inferno Dragon 1-on-1 -on -one pretty much kills every single card in the game at 4 or 5 Elixir. Like, it'll kill Wizard, it'll kill Witch, it'll kill everything. Well, honestly, if the uh, Witch isn't distracting it, that is. Like, if it's, like, right on top. But... The only thing that I can really come to mind that would kill it is like the Electro Wizard, and obviously that's just because it perpetually stuns it, right? So I do see the premise of his deck. He has Wizard and he's gonna like throw everything inside the fireballs, but man, it just didn't work for you. GG, well played, and peace out, Girl Scout. Actually, Bomber does really, really well against Royal Recruits, so I can see why he's running it. Pretty interesting for all that splash damage that he has. Alright guys, we had a game against someone from Unstoppable. Is he actually stoppable though? I don't know. Ice Spirit at the river, we're going in for a Miner, and we're going to get ready. Ooh, he's going to log back the Miner. Okay, well, you don't know if we have Barrel or anything, but you're going to log back that Miner like a certified Savage. He's got Hog Rider, so he's going to go in hot and heavy with the Hog, but it's going to get shut down by the Royal Recruits. He's saying, wow, because we have level 9 Royal Recruits. Apparently, he has not maxed them out yet. I'm going to go for a Bats, and with Royal Recruits, you always want to split push. So I'm going to go for a Skeleton Barrel. Try to make something happen. Unfortunately, he does have Executioner, so this might be a difficult matchup. What I really want to do against Executioner is I want to use my Inferno Dragon to the best of my ability. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go for an Ice Spirit, so then his Ice Spirit jumps on top of my Ice Spirit and does not reset the Inferno Dragon. That was very important. So the Inferno Dragon took priority from the Executioner. My Ice Spirit took priority from his Ice Spirit. So he most likely will Hog Rider relatively soon, if I had to guess. Yeah, there it is. So we're going to see what lane he drops his Executioner, and then I want to apply a lot of aggression in the opposite lane. So there he goes. He's going to go that lane. I'm going to go Skeleton Barrel, and I'm going to go Bats opposite lane of that. See what he wants to do about that. He might NATO into the Axie. I'm not sure if that's going to be incredibly beneficial. This Bat does get a lot of damage on the tower. 
the Royal Guard or the Royal Recruit is getting a ton of damage as well. I wonder how often it's going to like take me before I don't say Royal Guard anymore, man. Probably going to take a fat minute. Going to go in for a Miner. I always want to go Royal Recruits on top of every single time like he goes in for a Hog. That's going to be our precedence here. So Royal Recruits on defense. He's super sad, man. He's got Xe, but it still doesn't matter. Xe should tear apart our deck. We don't really have a great way of answering it at all. So I might need to just go in for poisons, and that's what I'm going to be doing on top of the Xe's from now on. Easy chip damage. Also, I don't think he actually has like a way of killing bats. So he goes in for Hog Rider. I'm going to try to go in for like bats on top of that. I've identified that he's got NATO and Hog. So he's most likely going to have Log, right? So I'm going to try to shut it down with bats. And notice how the bats just destroy everything. It's going to kind of have to drop like an Executioner at the river or something. Inferno Dragon right on top. I'm going to go in for an Ice Spirit. Then I'm going to go in for a Skeleton Barrel. Miner as well. So Miner's on top of the tower. That's all that matters. The Miner is going to be putting that into 216 Poison range. And that's all she wrote, guys. Skeleton Barrel connects to the tower. We're going for Royal Recruits on defense. GG, well played. And peace out, Girl Scout. It was a pleasure playing against you. It was a little bit difficult at the start, but then we adjusted and accommodated the Executioner, and we're able to just like run right over him. So I'm going to go Ice Spirit right at the river. We're just going to see if we can catch him with his pants down. What is he going to do about it? He's going to do nothing at all. He's just going to eat that like a snack. And then the Miner comes in strong. So he has a Mega Minion. Probably going to have some type of tank deck. Could be Golem. Could be Giant. The possibilities are endless. Oh, the Giant is coming out with the Hunter. Okay, this guy is a little bit of a Savage. Certified Savage Alert. He is most likely going to have Triple Spell with a Miner as well. He's going to have Log. He's going to have Fireball. He's going to have all that junk. Notice how I dropped the Bats just to make sure that the Mega Minion does not go in target at the last possible second. Got to make sure that the Hunter is going to be targeting the Inferno Dragon because it doesn't do so well at range. It's like really far away. Targeting an Inferno Dragon is kind of funny. Whereas like if... The Mega Minion gets on top of the Inferno Dragon, do a lot of damage to us. We'd much rather have it just hitting measly bats that we don't care about. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go for a Miner. I want to go for a Miner to go and pull the Mega Minion. I didn't expect him to go in for a Miner. I would much rather went for Royal Recruits in that situation, but it's still fine, guys. I can just go in for Royal Recruits in the back, cycle them as soon as I'm at 10 Elixir, and then try to do some like split push. We're going to employ some serious split push tactics, guys. Let's see what's up. What does he got for us? So I'm going to go for Bats, coupled on the left hand side, he's going to go in for a Hunter. I could poison that if I really want to, but I just want to see exactly what he's got in store for us. So now I'm going to go for the Inferno Dragon, remember he went in for a Zap, so I'm going to go for a Skeleton Barrel, just test the waters. He's most likely going to go in for a Log here, so I don't want to commit too heavily to it. He's actually going to go for a Mega Minion. Very interesting to see that actually. Now he goes in for the Log, okay cool. So I'm going to go Split Push again with Ice Spirit, I'm going to go for Royal Recruits at the River. I don't know if they're going to get in front of the Inferno Dragon, but I'm going to go for another Miner here. So yeah, the Inferno Dragon is actually being tanked for. We're doing a ton of damage. And then we have a Miner with the two Royal Recruits in the left-hand lane. Guys, he just wasn't expecting that. He was all out defending. And then he's like, dang, I actually have to defend my opposite side. Well, actually, never mind. He never even thought that. He should have thought that because he lost his tower. But yeah, dang, man. It's so insidious. The Royal Recruits, you see them in one lane coupled with the Inferno Dragon. You're like, dang, I have to defend that. Otherwise, I get Shreked. And he doesn't even know that the Miner plus Royal Recruits in the left-hand lane will take his tower if he doesn't defend. So it's so hard to like cost-effectively defend that when you're down Elixir. It just doesn't make sense to me. And this guy's got a counter deck too. He's got like Hunter. He's got triple spell. And we have a spell bait deck. So I feel like this should be a very easy matchup for him. But Royal Recruits are that busted, man. So it apparently isn't. Going for an Ice Spirit just to deny everything. He can't even take a tower, guys. His hopes, his dreams are in shambles, and he's a very sad panda. GG, well played, and peace out, Girl Scout. All right, we got a game against Crazy503, and his destiny is dead, man. So, I don't know. I feel like he's not really having anything good in his future. I'm going to be saucing out Bats in the back. He goes in for a Mega Minion. I'm not really scared about that. You drop Mega Minion at the river to stop an Ice Spirit. I'm not really too super scared about you. So, you have Zap. You have Mega Minion. It's not going to be Expo. It could be Minor Control still, but it probably isn't. Probably going to be Golem after seeing the Baby Dragon. It's going to say it might be Giant, but it's definitely going to be Golem after seeing the Baby Dragon. I'm going to go for Inferno Dragon to go melt that Baby Dragon. I'm also going to go Skeleton Barrel off his lane because he's already exhausted his Zap, right? So as soon as the Skeleton Barrel pops, then I want to go for a Miner. So then the Tower will be targeting the Miner, not the Skeletons. So we get even more damage on the Tower. Maybe just outright take it. 
That was beautiful. I'm going to go for bats on top of his bats. Also drop an ice beard if I need to. So this bat should finish off the golem. Unfortunately, the golem's still going to get a ton of damage on us. And I will have enough elixir for royal recruits just in the nick of time, boys. So there is that allowing us to finish off everything. I wonder if that one berry the bat will be able to wreck us, man. I'm not sure. I'm definitely going to have to log that, actually. Making me a little bit uncomfortable. Oh, no. Bury the bat touching me in all sorts of ways. That I don't like that, man. Bury the bat. Get out of here, bro. Too much damage for me to handle. Unfortunate. Oh, he's Yanni. You know, adding insult to injury here, guys. Wow, crazy. The disrespect levels. The disrespect levels. I'm going to go in for a poison here. I'm going to hit the tower. I'm also going to make sure that we tank for the skeleton barrel for a little bit of time. Goes in for a zap and misses it. Okay, guys. We've got to... Gotta sauce out the snack emote. Gotta let him know who's boss. I go for a furry dragon. Then I'm also gonna go in for bats right on top of the mega minion. Kill the mega minion. I'm also gonna go for an ice spirit to make sure that that lumberjack does not get too ahead of itself. Doesn't allow it to get on top of the. Oh, never mind, guys. Never mind. Forget what I was about to say. It got on top of my tower. Not okay. I end up going in for another miner as soon as the skeleton barrel takes precedence from the tower. Go. Gonna go for bats as well. And go for a poison, but I think the skeletons. Oh, never mind. He's about it. He's about it. Definitely gonna go for a poison. Maybe we can get more damage on top of the Night Witch that way. Night Witch should die. Oh man, I wasted a log. Okay, bat surround. Gonna go in for a miner here. Definitely gonna go sauce out an Inferno Dragon. Yo, that bat surround on the baby dragon was pretty spicy. That was fire. I'm going to end up going for another Royal Recruit, and then I can probably just secure the W. GG, well played, and peace out, Girl Scout. Hit him up with the Yawns of Justice, guys. Got to give him that Goblin and Fire emote. GG, well played, and peace out, Girl Scout. That was a snack and a half. I'm going to go in for a log right on top of the Goblin Barrel, and we'll see what he wants to do. Tattoo, what's up? I'm going to end up going in for an Inferno Dragon in the back with the one Zappy. So, after seeing the Zappies, it's probably not going to be a Golem deck. It's probably not going to be any type of, like giant deck so i feel very confident being able to do that i'm also gonna go for bats here i'm gonna let those zappies do their thing i'm gonna go in for royal recruits in the back i want to fight on my side of the map so i'm gonna eat up a little bit of chip damage i want to get a huge counter push potential here i'm gonna go for a log on top of those royal recruits and then also the dark goblin so he went in for a log guys so what i'm gonna do here is i'm gonna go for a skeleton barrel i'm gonna go in for bats here i'm gonna get ready with a miner Nope, I'm not going to minor that. Actually, yeah, we're going to minor that one Zappy. I think that's probably the best play. Tank for the Skeleton Barrel. Get a ton of damage, boys. Let's go. That was critical damage. Holy crap. Completely and utterly finesse there. So I have to Zap or Ice Spirit this, actually. I'm going to eat that Dark Goblin like a snack. And I'm super happy that I decided to go in for a minor because I saw those two Zappies swerving in the left-hand lane and I took advantage, man. I saw that and I snagged it. I'm going to end up going for a log right on top of the barrel. He's not going to get any damage. Not about that life. We are not Walmart. We don't give free damage, man. All right, so we're just going to go cycle row recruits in the back. This guy goes in for Goblin Gang and then, huh, row recruits again? All right. I'm just going to go for bats. And I think we got this game in the bag, guys. I don't think there's too much you can do, but I want to play safe and sound. I want to go in for a miner. I want to go in for a poison here. And we're going to end up catching the Dark Goblin, so definite value. Thing that I have to be wary of is defending. I'm gonna have to go in for a log here. End up going in for Ice Spirit. I really want to cycle back to Royal Recruits on defense because they are great at countering themselves, you know? <laughs> That's when you know a card is strong. You have to use it to counter itself. Since we have a very fast cycle, can you usually cycle back to Royal Recruits faster than my opponent? So our Royal Recruits are now yet again on offense. I'm gonna go for an Inferno Dragon. I'm definitely going for a log on top of the Dark Goblin to make sure that it dies. Doesn't give him too much value. Probably our best case scenario is poisoning that. And then going for Royal Recruits to finish off those goblins. Actually, dropped it in the back, so uh, our bats ended up finishing them off. GG, well played, and peace out, Girl Scout. Much love, and it was a pleasure playing against you, man. All right, guys, we got a game against someone from AR Esports. We're going to be saucing out of good luck. We're going to drop Ice Spirit at the river. He's going to go in for a skeleton, so it might be a cycle deck. It could be Expo, and we just obliterate Expo with this deck, so hopefully he's running Expo. He's got Ice Spirit, so it's definitely a cycle deck. I'm going to go Royal Recruits in the back, and it's going to be Expo, guys. He's going to have a Tesla. Let's go. 
We are going to Shrek Expo today. There is no way that you break through this. We have Royal Recruits. We have Inferno Dragon. He's going to be so sad, man. I'm just going to go in for a Poison. Collect our free damage. And obviously the Tesla will end up dying as well. So he goes in for a Valkyrie. Well played for sure. But the Valk kind of just dies to the Royal Recruits. That's really absurd. He had a Tesla. He had an Expo. He had both towers helping him. It just didn't matter. Oh my gosh. I actually kind of feel bad for him. So when you're using the Skeleton Barrel with a Miner, you always want to have it tank for your Miner. So after the Skeleton Barrel pops, then you can get Utility because then the tower is going to be targeting the full health Miner. That's really something that I like doing. Inferno Dragon's right on top of the tower. I think we just win the game. Yeah, so this guy is a great player. He's from Legendary League, as you guys can see. But this deck just craps on Expo. It's just not even fair, man. If he drops Expos right now, I just go drop units right on top. So this is just going to be GG, well played, and all she wrote. This is against a very good Expo player, but it doesn't even matter, man. It's crazy. I'm going to go split Royal Recruits in the back, and we might just 3-crown him. So hopefully he doesn't waste our time because there's no way for him to win this game. I don't think he's actually going to waste our time. I think he's going to be a cordial, sir, and submit to defeat. So Skeleton Barrel. I'm going to drop Bats. And then I go in for a Miner here, and we win. GG. So Expo is just a very, very easy matchup. And we got it. Alright, so he went for a Mega Minion in the back. Probably going to be a Tank deck, so I really can't go and drop a Whimsical Inferno Dragon off to the side. Really horrible play if I did that. So he's going to have a Tesla. He's going to have Mega Minion. Is this Miner Control, or is this going to be some funky Expo deck? This is probably Expo, actually. Usually, most minor control players do not have Mega Minion. This guy is from a legendary clan. So, Legendary League, definitely going to be a good player. They do not accept mediocrity there. I'm going to go for a Log, so then we don't have to deal with the Archers. I want to go in for Skeleton Barrel off his lane. It's not going to get drawn by the Tesla. So, there is that for us. He might Log it. I'm going to go for Royal Recruits in the back. Get some tower damage, maybe? No, it's just going to go for an Ice Golem to defend. Okay, well played. It's going to log back our Royal Recruits, bounce back their shields. Well played, bro. Well played. So what I want to do here is I want to go from Bats, I want to go in for Inferno Dragon, I want to go for a Miner. I really want to try to get like units to the opposite lane from the Tesla because he's not able to draw them. And Inferno Dragon is going to be quite the menace for him, I believe. Might just actually end up taking his tower. Yeah, dude, that's what I love doing. Just going with the sneaky Inferno Dragon. He didn't expect it, man. He didn't see what was coming. Can that push the Mega Minion out of the way? Nah. Okay. I was hoping that would work. It didn't work, though. Unfortunate circumstances transpired against Rolex. What does he want to do here? Hmm. I don't want to really go for Royal Recruits in the back, because then he could go for an Expo, and then I could get wrecked. So, I didn't have any other, like, ground defenses there. So, that's why I didn't do that. Go for Inferno Dragon right on top. He's going to go in for a Tesla. I got to kill that Tesla. As weird as that sounds, I got to kill the Tesla. Killing those Teslas is paramount, boys. Can't let him stack them. Go for Bats yet again. He's going to go for Graveyard. Okay, I was not expecting this. Like, at all. It's totally outside the realm of possibilities for me. I saw Tesla. I saw Archers. And I'm like, okay, he's running Expo. But no, he's not. This guy's a little bit wild. A little bit funky running this. Try to shut him down here. Don't know if this is a good play or not. Oh man, if that sits at 217, he's not able... Oh my god! He's not able to take it unless he logs. Does he know that he has to log? Does he know? This is the real question. Does this man know that he has to log? Five, four, three, two, one... No! <laughs> Damn it. That would have been super sick. Oh. Guys, why can't we just win like that? That would have been super sick if that log didn't hit. Oh, man. I mean, we still win, but like, I just wanted to win in a different way. I guess we're going to three crowd him. Oh, can we get some Sir Tag Fs in the chat, please? That was uh, a little bit annoying. Sad panda moments here. I don't care what you're gonna do, man. It 
It doesn't matter. I just go in for a poison. I win. <laughs> GG. GG, well played and peace out, Girl Scout. Still running away with the victory.